Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the example 6 from chapter 3 pair of linear equations and two variables. In my previous videos, I have completed the examples 1 to 5, exercises 3.1 from the same chapter. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Example 6 from chapter 3 pair of linear equations and two variables says, Champa went to a sale to purchase some pants and skirts. When her friends asked her how many each she had bought, she answered, the number of skirts is 2 less than twice the number of pants purchased. Also, the number of skirts is 4 less than 4 times the number of pants purchased. Help her friends to find out how many pants and skirts Champa bought. So here in the question, there is a sale and Champa goes to a sale and she purchases some pants and skirts and there are two conditions given where the number of skirts is two less than the twice the number of pants purchased and also the second condition is the number of skirts is four less than four times the number of pants purchased. So according to these conditions we have to form equations and find out how many number of pants and skirts were purchased. So since we have to find out the number of pants and skirts purchased by Champa, so let us assume the number of pants purchased to be x and number of skirts purchased to be y. Okay, so let us write down, let the number of pants purchased be equal to x. Similarly, let the number of skirts purchased be y. So now let us form the equation according to the condition given. So here the first condition given is the number of skirts is 2 less than twice the number of pants purchased. The first condition is the number of skirts. Number of skirts is equal to 2 less than twice the number of pants purchased. So we will write 2 into number of pants purchased minus 2 will take since it is given as 2 less than. Okay. So here number of skirts what did we assume initially to be y equal to 2 into number of pants purchased we had assumed to be x. So minus 2. So we form the first equation given from the condition. Similarly, so second condition given here is also, the number of skirts is 4 less than 4 times the number of pants purchased. So, first of all, we will write the left hand side that is the number of skirts. So, number of skirts is equal to 4 times the number of pants purchased. So, 4 into number of pants minus 4. We are writing minus 4 because they have given us 4 less than 4 times the pants purchased. Okay, so here the number of skirts is y equal to 4 into number of pants is x minus 4. So this is the second equation formed from the second condition given. So these two equations represent the conditions given here. So accordingly, let us now solve it graphically and find out the solutions for these two equations. So here from the first equation, we obtain the y value. So let us substitute the x value and find out the y values. So let us take first x value as equal to 1. So if we substitute in the equation 1, we get y is equal to 2 into 1 minus 2. 2 into 2 is 2 minus 2. So this becomes 0. Similarly, let us substitute x is equal to 2. So y is equal to 2 into 2 minus 2. So 2 into 2 is 4 minus 2. So that will be equal to 2. So let us draw a table for this x and y value we obtained. So for x equal to 1, we obtained y equal to 0. Similarly, for x equal to 2, we obtained y equal to so now let us substitute the value of x in equation 2. So here again let us take x value is equal to 1. So y is equal to 4 into 1 minus 4. That is 4 minus 4 that will be equal to 0. Similarly let us take x is equal to 2. So y is equal to 4 into 2 minus 4. Here 4 into 2 is 8 minus 4. So that will be equal to 4. Right, so again let us draw the table. This is x and y. For x equal to 1, we got y as 0. Similarly, for x equal to 2, we got y as 
4. Now, now let us plot these two tables on the graph. So now let us plot the graph on x axis and y axis drawn as shown here. So from the first equation y is equal to 2x minus 2 we obtain the table that is at x equal to 1 y equal to 0. So we obtain a point here on x axis let us name this point as a at x equal to 1 y equal to 0. Similarly, the second point is at x equal to 2, y is, al is also equal to 2. On x axis, we are taking 2 and on y axis, it is 2. So, this is the point. Let us name this point as B at x equal to 2 and y equal to 2. Now let us draw a line intersecting these two points representing the equation y equal to 2x minus so similarly, let us plot the graph for the second equation y is equal to 4x minus 4. So here we obtained at x equal to 1, y is equal to 0. So this point is common for both the equation that is x equal to 1 and y equal to 0. So let us mark this point as P that is at x equal to 1, y equal to 0. Similarly, the second point is at x equal to 2, y is equal to 4. So we obtain a point here. So mark this point as Q at x equal to 2 and y is equal to 4. So now let us draw a line intersecting these two points representing the equation y is equal to 4x minus 4. So here we observe that these two lines are intersecting at a common point that is 1 comma 0. Right? So this point forms the unique solutions for both the equations that is 4 is equal to 2x minus 2 and y is equal to 4x minus 4. Therefore, you can write that the two lines intersect at 1 comma 0. Write down therefore the two lines intersect at point 1 comma 0. So this point 1 comma 0 represents x comma y right and here initially we had assumed x to be the number of pants and y to be number of skirts. So from this we can obtain the x and y value that is therefore the number of pants purchased will be 1 and the number of skirts purchased will be 0. So write down for the number of pants purchased is 1 and the number of curve purchased will be 0. So this is how we solve this problem. This is also a very important problem. If you have any further doubts, do comment me below in the comment section. In my next video, I'll be solving question number 1 from exercise 3.2, chapter 3, pair of linear equations and two variables. So till then, do like my video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC NSERT math. And also do watch the related videos of chapter 3, pair of linear equations and two variables shown on the screen. Thank you.